have a few passing areas of rain for about another hour. But the severe weather risk, that's now over. Our cold front is making progress through the area, and that's why there are still those few showers in the Alapa River area, for example, and into the Suwannee. West of the front, so essentially I'd say west of Highway 319, we're done with any kind of significant rain. Clouds will lurk for a while, though, so it's going to take some time to get the clouds to be scrubbed out as some drier air makes an attempt to move in. And it'll have some success. I'd say a lot of success because the forecast and focus has that northwest wind pattern on top of us through tonight and tomorrow. That gives us ample dry flow. It comes from a cooler air source, so that means tomorrow is going to be a rather decent outdoor day. One thing you'll have to keep in mind is that we'll have a little extra breeze around. So that can be something that kind of gets in the way of perfection for your Sunday. But as you're going into the end of your Sunday and into Monday morning, another round of clear sky. Those breezes will be felt as you're getting ready for Sunday services. Wind speeds around 8 to 12 miles per hour in the morning and then steady around 10 to 15 during the day. So a little breezy, kind of a reminder that we're still in winter, even though there's been a whole lot of talk about springing forward, which will be taking place tomorrow morning. Monday, expect a veil of upper clouds to move in high pressure stays close by at least through the middle of the week and it'll keep us on the dry side. Lows tonight ranging from 50 to about the mid 50s in the southeast Big Bend. Highs in the 60s to near 70. A touch of coolness still around our area, but we do warm things up after Tuesday morning. Morning lows will be in the lower 40s, but we'll see those temperatures for highs getting back close to 80. A few more clouds after Wednesday and we'll really hold off on any significant rain until perhaps the end of next week.